Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's called The Duff. No, not the actress Hilary Duff, nor even Duff Beer. No, I'm talking about the teen comedy The Duff. Yeah, a story about a quirky teenager who suddenly labeled as The Duff, which stands for Designated Ugly Fat Friend, which actually means that she's actually less popular than the group that she's with, who's more popular than ever. But she wanted to um, not label that, so that way she wouldn't be, she would become as more popular than ever. Not to mention that you now she wanted she wanted to prove that she's not one of those people who's considered to be you know the duff. It stars Mae Whitman, who's been in several films and does a lot of voice acting and other shows like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Avatar The Last Airbender, and even the movie Tinkerbell. Robbie Arnell, Bella Forn from the TV show Shake It Up, which is on the Disney Channel, Bianca Santos, Skylar Samuels, Romani Malko, Ken John from the movie The Hangover, he now has a TV show called Dr. Ken, Allison Jenny, from the movie Juno, Chris Wilde, Mohani Manning, Nick Eversman, JJ Green, Seth Medirutter, and Gabriel Frail. It's written by Joss A. Kagan, which is based on the novel by Cody Keplinger, and it's directed by Ari Sandell. The movie begins when a quirky high school senior teenager named Bianca, who is played by Mae Whitman, who has two close friends who are significantly more popular than she is, and I know they've been hanging out since childhood, named Jess and Casey, who are both played by Skylar Samuel and Bianca Santos. She's also a neighbor and former childhood friend of a popular jock named Wesley West Rush, who's played by Robbie Armel who happens to be the star of the school ball's football team. Yeah. She actually has a crush on a guitar playing student named Toby Tucker, who's played by Nick Eversman, who reluctantly attends a party that's hosted by one of the meanest girls who happens to be very beautiful, and she's considered to be a future reality TV star named Madison Morgan, who's played by Bella Forne. But hoping to talk to him, she soon realized that once uh, the party became a complete disaster, that Wes had talked to um, Bianca thinking that now she's considered as simply a duff, which stands for a designated ugly fat friend. He explains that it doesn't have to be actually ugly or fat, it's just the person in the social group who are less popular and more accessible than the others in the group which that means that the duff gets explored to popular people than ever before. That's what caused Bianca to be feeling very insulted and devastated. But then she realized that Wes was right the whole time, that she is considered as a duff. So that the students in her high school are already interested in her as a way to get to Jesse and Casey. So as a result, she unfriended both of them on social media. So Bianca later overhears Wes and the science teacher who's played by Chris Wilde about that unless he passed the midterm he's off the football team which caused him his football scholarship so Bianca made a deal with Wes by going on a date with Toby just by helping him pass the science test if he advised her how to stop being a duff. So they actually had a fun time at a shopping mall where they're just hanging around, you know, looking at some clothes and all this other stuff. But that leads to a bigger embarrassment when Wes actually records a video of a Bianca, you know, trying out all the dresses, you know, doing some of those uh, sexy moves and all that. But that makes it even more of a big trouble when one of Madison's friends actually spy on her and, and record the whole video only to claim that you know exactly what's going to happen next. Because even though 
you know, Bianca was just was just getting the West advice on having to uh, talk to a lot of guys in the mall to see if maybe if she's interested. Yeah, but some of them did okay, some of them did not, so that's how it turned out. But then, all of a sudden, the next day at high school, that's when she began to find out that her videos being uploaded on YouTube, and now she's getting like over a thousand views by lots of uh, high school students, mostly because they're watching it on their cell phones and everything. And that, that, that alone became a, a big problem because now that embarrassing video that she had on for that has a million views is what caused this whole thing to become as we know it cyberbullying because now uh, she's considered to be treated like crap in front of everybody but even worse we began to find out that Wes was actually had a relationship with Madison because Wes was uh, her girlfriend you know for a while and also jealous of Bianca's relationship with him. Anyway, so then Bianca actually accused Wes for uploading the video that causes the embarrassment, but in reality it was Madison's friends who did that. By uh, talking directly to him and asking him out, you know, Bianca decided to see uh, Toby so that way you know she get to talk to him uh, for the first time since they saw the video even yeah because even he knew about it so now um, they decided to go on a date at his house just to have um, sushi for dinner but then she soon found out that she's now becoming as we know it a duff because now you know Toby actually was actually falling in love with her just to get to Jesse and Casey since you know She's since Toby is best friends with them. So yeah, that became a complete disaster. So she became so angry with both Toby and Wes for what just happened. So she now reunites with her friends Jess and Casey, who now become genuine friends with her. And they, along with their understanding mother, who's played by Allison Jenny, who of course is just working on her interview, since she's into, um, by coming up with... Um, the five stages of grief, which of course she basically learned from an episode of The Simpsons. Yeah, one of those classic episodes. She has to convince her to go to the homecoming dance with them, not to cause any trouble. So, then she later wrote an article about the homecoming dance, um, just to prove that people who are as doves are not considered to be, as we speak, you know, an outsider of the popular group so no matter where they are or what they do they're always going to be a duff in all of us and this is a pretty interesting teenage comedy about what was it like if you're actually in a group of very popular people and and you want to be an outsider of the group because it seems to me like you're just being used that's exactly what Bianca had felt since they labeled them as simply the duff, you know, and it shows that people who are considered as duffs shouldn't be treated like crap the way she was, you know, that's how she felt very insulted and devastated by the whole thing. But they can prove that people who are duffs, they can do anything, you know, they can be smart, athletic, you know, they also have a lot of favorites that others don't have, or sometimes they do, and and it should be treated with respect. I mean, that's the whole purpose of it. And it just proves that not all doves are considered to be ugly and fat because they're not. But that's just the whole purpose of it. Of them all. And yeah, it shows. And I thought May Women definitely did some justice to play the character because apparently this was um, the character that um, novelist uh, Cody Keplinger had came up with. And because actually she was the one that's uh, considered to be the duff and you know she's always been bullied you know, in, in high school by the popular crowd mostly from the mean girls that she had at high school and it proves that it, even if you're a duff it doesn't mean that you're considered to be you know 
an outsider. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Even if you're hanging out with, with the popular group. Yeah. And I, even though I haven't read the book, I mean, I, I think it's an interesting story about that. So, Anyway, but it had a great cast. Um, I thought, once again, I thought Mae Whitman did a great job in the film. It shows that, you know, she can actually prove that that with a material like this, you know, she could definitely be strong and smart than, than anybody <laughs> in the group out there. And I've, I thought this was one of her greatest performances. Um, all the other actors, too, including Skylar Samuel, Bianca Santos, uh, Robbie Amell, and, and of course Bella Forn, they were all good. Even though you know, Bella Forn did play the bitch in the movie. So, yeah. But hey, it was worth it. Uh, I thought Ken Yon did a great job, too, playing the, t the teacher. I thought he was hilarious, too. Uh, as well as uh, Allison Jenny as uh, Bianca's mother. I thought she was great in the film, too. Yeah, especially with some of the scenes that she was coming up with. Yeah, basically your typical mother, just like all the other mothers you see in, in movies. My problem with the film is that they focus too much on social media, such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Since we are living in a digital age. Yeah, because there's like too many hashtags everywhere. And yeah, there's also too many like close-up shots. There's like a lot of those... Uh, animation that they put in in the mix because just like all the other teen comedies I've seen where they do that and also it had a pretty lousy soundtrack I mean there are a few songs I like but others are just you're know, just your typical random music that you get in the 2010s so that's not something I would like to hear in a film like this yeah it's it's just not worth it but otherwise um, it's a great team flick. I mean, it, it's worth watching. Mostly for Mae Whitman alone and all the others in the cast. So I think it's uh, definitely uh, shows exactly why people who are doves should be treated with respect. And that's the most important thing. They shouldn't be bullied at all. And that's for sure. So anyway, I give the duff three and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. And I'll see you later. Bye.